Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because I smell something, leave me alone. She was all running around and doing her snorting like she used to do at the house in the backyard. And it's getting ready to storm, so she's not too happy. So I gotta hurry up and get her to daycare. Now we're skipping to, I've already picked Tammy up from daycare. It's in kind of like the evening time, five o'clock, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. around through there. So I didn't show you anything in between. Had a lot of stuff going on as you can tell probably from the thumbnail of this actual video which i'm going to talk to you about um here in this video but taking tamara's here on her normal routine of a walk before daycare and after daycare so she's taking me down some more trails yet again and she was a good girl she actually got to uh be an office assistant today at pet suites which um was very very cool when i got the picture when they sent it to me i actually couldn't get a smile off my face for a long time so anybody from pet suites if you are watching this i really appreciate that that just really really made my day that and what i'm getting ready to talk about what this thumbnail and title of this video is all about here in uh one second or one minute i don't know we'll have to wait and see what happens but i'm gonna timmy's gonna take me on these she's gonna go backwards um, Tammy's going to take me on these, the rest of this trail, and then I'm going to try to see about getting her something to eat. Alright, we're back in the hotel, and this one here, uh, is already out. I gave her some Arby's roast beef, her favorite, one of her favorites that she loves, the half pound of version. I gave her that, she got her a drink of water, and, um, she's out. Uh, like I said, she had a big day today, I'm assuming because of the picture and stuff that I've seen earlier. Uh, in this video where she was the office helper today which was so cute I, again I just couldn't keep <laughs> keep the smile on my face uh, pretty much all day but uh, I have to dress up my wound uh, today's the day that I dress up my wound again I redress it up I guess if you want to put it that way uh, then I go back to the actual wound doctor again Tuesday uh, for him to look at again, see what they're going to do after that. I hope they don't have to cut back into it again. Hopefully they just say it's healing just fine and see if it's going to heal it just fine on its own and just leave it alone. Because uh, uh, I don't want to keep going back and keep racking a bill up, but if I have to do it, I have to do it. Because, um, uh, you know, I didn't want to lose my foot or anything because it was really, really bad for those of you that have seen it. You guys know. Uh, but I got some big huge news other than those blessings i got some big huge news that i'm going to tell you about as soon as i get my wound done all right now that i got my foot done um it's getting a little bit better but i i, I looked at it and it's not i don't think it's going to be to the point where uh you know he's going to say you don't need to come back but who knows who knows with prayer stuff anything's possible which brings me to the big news that i wanted to talk to you guys about um most of you guys know that uh, when all this stuff first started happening, when me and Tammy uh, basically was um, pushed out and, and didn't have a place to go, uh, pretty much, that one of my friends had knew somebody that had a house, but wasn't for sure when it was going to be available. My friend actually messaged me back on a Facebook Messenger and said it's available. If you want it, said it'll probably be done in the next three days. And I'm like, whoa. I'm like, uh, you know, I'm not going to have the money for that, you know, for first month rent and deposit both. And it's a house and I wanted it and everything else. And I'm like, God, how am I going to do this? I wish I'd have known, you know, uh, at least a month ahead of time. And I could have, I could have saved up for it. Uh, I would have found a way to save up for it. Uh, well, with much prayer, prayer from you guys, support from you guys. Um, someone uh, loaned me the money for the first month's rent. And because of that, the owner of the actual home that's renting, renting it said, 
you know, he was praying and, and he said that, uh, he was praying that I would actually get the house so uh, he would work with me on deposit. So it's gonna be tough the next three weeks or so or whatever, you know, making my van payment, making, uh, you know, making sure the van stays running, uh, you know, paying this and paying that, and also having to pay that extra deposit. But once I actually get in there, um, and get started and not have to pay like a hotel bill or stuff like that it's just going to be so much better it's going to be it's just going to be so much better so that's the news picked up the keys today tonight um again i can't thank everybody for everything that they've done everything from the people with pet suites that has taken amazing care amazing care tammy tammy loves every single one of you guys to death uh she um, can't stand it. it because she didn't go that one day because I couldn't do anything because my foot. Uh, she could not stand it. She was pulling at me, whining, everything, wanting to go so bad. Couldn't understand why she wasn't going because she goes every single day. And trust me, just because I'm getting the house, even though I get on track and, and, and uh, uh, can start saving money, she's still going there. I may end up taking a day or two off a week uh, instead of working seven days a week. But the majority of the time, she's still going to go there because she loves you guys. She loves going there. Um, everybody that has prayed for us, thank you. Everybody that has commented on Facebook, everybody that's tried to help us with suggestions, everybody that has made donations, um, everybody that has given me that little bit extra tip uh, when you know it's me actually delivering food to you um, and you guys know who you are. Uh, I really appreciate that. Just everything, prayers, and, and, and again, the, the person, I'm not going to name them because I don't know if they want to be named or not. I'm not disrespectful like that. But the person that loaned me the money to actually be able to get this house uh, for the first month's rent, thank you. I thank all of you. I have been crying all day. I have been a blubbering mess, mess all day. And um, I probably haven't cried more in the last six months than I have probably my whole life. Uh, so, uh, just thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of Tammy's heart. Tammy's right now still laying on the bed all covered up. Um, just out. Uh, probably end up moving everything into the house tomorrow. So look for some videos. I want to show people the journey and stuff I'm going on. Just in case you're going through something like it. Doesn't necessarily have to be a divorce, but just something like it. Losing everything. Whatever it may be. Starting from scratch. Uh, but I just want to show everybody, you know, the, the journey. I want to show everybody my testimony because let me tell you something. This has been absolutely amazing on this journey. It wouldn't be my amazing. Is yes, it's been hard. Yes, it's been tough. Yes, I hated that I had to go through it. I hated that Tammy had to go through it most of all. But it's just amazing that you see people that just don't know you, that aren't your friends, that aren't your family. They don't know you until you get out there and start meeting people and meeting these businesses and meeting this person and meeting that person. They don't necessarily know you know you, you know, like family, family, like real close knit. How much they're willing to help somebody when they don't even know me, when they don't even know Tammy. So again, I just want to say thank you. And I don't want to keep crying. So I'm probably going to end this video and again just make sure you stay tuned on youtube our facebook page our instagram we're doing instagram reels now which is kind of like tiktok and tiktok make sure you join us on all those the link is down below that will take you to most all of them but you can just look up tv and tammy on any platform and you should be able to find us right there uh, and just follow us on our journey. Comment. Let us know you're there. Have a conversation with us. You know, we we just, we want to know how your day's going, even if it's not about the video. You know, comment if there's something that's going on in your life and you need to reach out or something. Please do so in the comments. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be about the video. So, but remember that here the great script is love. It doesn't matter what you look like. I get comments all the time on my teeth. Who cares? Because that's not who I am. That's not what justifies me. Is what I look like doesn't matter how much money I got. That's not what justifies me. What justifies me is what has been, and everybody else, is what has been happened. How's your heart? How's your inside? How do you treat other people? How do you treat animals? That is what this counts. Do not let anybody downgrade you for anything on how you look, what you make, 
what you do, how you do things, bully you or anything like that because of the, the way that you do things if you have an amazing heart. If you have an amazing heart, and I, like I said, treat people kindly and, and treat animals kindly and just are a, a good overall genuine person, then it doesn't matter what they think. Don't let that get to you. Trust me, I've let it at times get to me to where I've not wanted to post videos uh, and stuff, but um, I've had a lot of feedback throughout the years of doing it where I've actually been helping people and uh, whether they're commenting or not on the actual videos themselves, uh, they contact me privately. So as long as I'm helping people, it doesn't matter what some other people say. So that's what matters here on all the content that, that I do. That That's the only thing that matters. And that's the people that I want watching my content, engaging my com content, supporting my content, and then me also supporting you as well. That's the people that I want to surround myself with because the greatest gift is love. It really is. The greatest gift is love. Even the Bible tells us that. Even Jesus tells us that. that the greatest commandment is love. That's one of the greatest commandments that there ever is and there ever was, was to love one another. So just remember that. Uh, just remember that. Hope everybody has an amazing, blessed day. Bye-bye.